Spartan Nation. SMD Law is the official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Check them out on the interwebs at smdalaw.com or at 866-529-3537. No matter where you are in the state of Michigan, Upper Peninsula, Lower Peninsula, it doesn't matter. They have an office near you. So whether you need to send a letter to an annoying neighbor, or you're a criminal and you need defense, maybe you just have problems with elder law, check them out, smdalaw.com today. The official law firm of the Spartan Nation. Call them first, then you act. Good evening, everybody. Welcome back, Spartan Nation. We now head out to Sterling Heights, and normally when we do that, it's to talk with Jeff Michalowski from SMD Law. That is not the case tonight. We're talking to a rising quarterback for the 21 class. He's getting a, um, a lot of interest from Brad Salem, the MSU offensive coordinator. He's starting to hear from Michigan State. Grew up a huge Spartan fan. He's getting a ton of interest from a lot of different schools. Waiting for somebody to pull the trigger with an offer. I think it's a matter of if and not when. Really good feet, really good balance, really good head on his shoulders. I like the way this youngster plays quarterback. So let's head out and talk to a young man, Josh Byers from the class of 21. Josh, how are you, buddy? Good. Thank you for having me tonight. No problem. Josh, talk about your camp plans. Are you going to be up at Michigan State? Yes, sir. I'll be there on the 15th of June. All right. Good for you. Talk about Michigan State. I mean, I, I found a picture of you. Actually, I was sent a picture of you with Connor Cook as a young kid. I mean, you grew up a Spartan. You can't get any more green and white than Josh Byers, can you? No, you cannot. Will you I've talk about being that Spartan and being a Spartan fan? Yeah, I've been a Spartan fan my whole life, basically since I was, I feel like since I was born, I went to many games throughout my childhood. Um, most memorable was probably the Little Giants game against Notre Dame. Oh, wow. Sitting in the stands as a little kid watching my buddy Charlie Gant score that touchdown, what would an offer from Michigan State mean to you, Josh? Uh, it would honestly mean the world to me. Okay. Josh, let's talk about you are starting to have some conversations with Brad Salem. What's he telling you? Uh, basically, just keep up the good work, and I mean, eventually, I will probably, hopefully, maybe get that offer I'm looking for. Just keep doing what I'm doing, and the offers will start coming in. Josh, I think a couple things are going to be really big for you, and I want to run by him and see what you think. First of all, camp's going to be important, watching you compete with guys. But number two is going to be the early film, early next season. That's going to be a big deal for you, isn't it? Yes, it will. I really believe so. Let's talk about your school and the kind of system they run. Tell everyone about your offense you run at Henry Ford. Uh, we run a spread offense. Uh, usually we have like one or two backs in the backfield, usually H-back. Um, sometimes you throw a tight end in there every once in a while. So you're certainly going to get a chance to put up those numbers. Oh, yeah, definitely. Good for you, you John. Me. I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead. I said, yeah, definitely. You have the talent around you and just a great group of guys. Josh, tell us about the other schools you're hearing from. I know you're hearing from Michigan State. I know you're hearing from Western. Anybody else out on the, on the horizon who's kicking the tires? Um, Bowling Green I've had a couple talks with. I went down there for a junior day. Toledo I went down there for a junior day. Uh, I've talked a little bit with Central Michigan and then, uh, then yeah, obviously Western. Good for you. Josh, let's talk a little bit about your style. What do you think you do best? Um, I mean, I think I'm really good at like, making smart decisions. Uh, I'm I'm sneaky athletic. I don't run the ball a lot, but yeah, when I do, I'm like I'm fast enough and quick enough to get out of the pocket. Uh, I think I'm a really strong thrower on the run, and I'm just now like really getting good at throwing in the pocket and just being comfortable with like deeper throws down the field. Josh, one of the things that stood out to me on film is, is, and you just mentioned it, when you do run, you're very successful. Most guys are quick to get out of the pocket. You know, you, you got, I, I love this. Kirk Cousins once said to me, you can't be a quarterback and be timid. And a lot of guys take off running and they don't let plays develop downfield because they are timid. There's no timidity in you. I think if you were a little more timid, People would know that you're more athletic, but your ability and patience in the pocket is one of your biggest strengths when I watch you on film. Do you agree with that? Do you hear that from coaches? Yes, I do. I really agree with that. Do you hear that from coaches, Josh? Yes, I do. A lot of them really like that, how I just I make a play outside of the pocket. Yeah, good for you. We're talking to Josh Byers, rising 21 quarterback on a Henry Ford uh, here in Michigan, Sterling Heights. 
<clears throat> he's a young man that maybe got on the scene a little bit late, not because of him. I think there's a lot of things that he can't control. There's no sense getting into those. They're nothing about him or character or anything like that. I just think maybe the school he plays for. But uh, he just he's got the intangibles. He's got the it factor. When you turn on the film, you see him make plays. Now, remember, he can't catch them all. He can only throw them. And when balls are delivered and guys don't catch them, that's not on Josh. That, that, that's, that's his job is just to put them there. Josh, let's talk about arm strength. Because you did mention that it's improving down the field, but you got to get in that weight room and get that arm stronger. Would you agree? Yeah, I do. I constantly do that. I work out about four to five days a week, and I've been constantly just working the past like couple months since like right out of football season just to get my arm stronger, just so I can make those deep throws down the field and then make throw those deep outs and deep comebacks. Hmm. Uh, Josh, it's got to be something that gets your attention. <laughs> When the offensive coordinator is the guy recruiting you, that says a lot. You know, they're not sending, you know, just the recruiting staff. When they're having the OC stay in touch with you, that's a big deal. Yeah, I really think so. I hope to build a relationship with the person I'm going to be spending most of my days with and time at college with, talking to every day. How is that coming? Because that relationship with Coach uh, is Salem is coming along. You guys are spending some time together. You're talking more. How would you say that relationship's coming? I think it's really strong. I've known him since, like, I have started going to youth camps at Michigan State, so I've always had kind of a relationship with him. But as the years have gone on, it's gotten stronger, and it's getting better and better. Good for you. Josh, let's turn it over a little bit and talk about the classroom. Are you taking care of your business there? Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm a strong student. Sometimes I have a little bit of struggles, but otherwise I'm really on top of my, uh, my stuff. Good for you. Let's talk about camping. I know you said you were going to Michigan State. Any other schools you're planning on camping at this uh, summer? Uh, yeah, I plan on uh, – last weekend I went to Western Michigan and Best of the Midwest at Grand Valley. Um, mm -hmm. The rest of the summer my plans are to go to uh, Bowling Green, Central Michigan, and hopefully Toledo. Good for you. Let's talk about Best of the Midwest because you had a great weekend. Yeah, I thought I had a really great weekend. I had – Got a lot of attention from coaches and a lot of good feedback. Um, I honestly thought I had one of the better throwing days recently at some of these camps, and I just had a good all-around day, not including football things like agility and stuff like that too. Josh, that's the reason I got you on the show. Yeah, I heard from someone there that you probably were the best, uh, have the best of the Midwest at quarterback over there. Did you feel like that? I mean, did, were you in that group? Did you feel like you were the best quarterback there? Yeah, I strongly felt that. I mean, I don't know how other coaches felt, but that's really how I felt. I was confident the whole day, and I was just letting it fly. Good for you. Josh, let's talk a little bit about other things outside of football. Your athleticism, are you playing other sports? Because that, that normally doesn't come with a one-sport guy. Yeah, I play basketball. I'm really into that. Really into basketball as well. Okay, so Josh, let's talk a little bit about the process, if you don't mind, and dig into that. Um Obviously, one advantage is you're still a 21 kid, so there is a long time within the process. Are you able to be as patient, waiting for this to develop as you as the as you are in the pocket? Because you're one hell of a patient kid in the pocket. Yeah, I'm really patient. I'm just letting it all work out itself. I'm not trying to force anything with any coaches or anything. It's basically talking to them, just building a good relationship with them, and then just seeing like seeing how my feedback is with everyone. Josh, what do you hear that coaches like best, and what do they tell you you got to work on this? Um, a lot of them like my accuracy and my decision-making, and mostly they just say, like, quicken up your footwork and then just got to get arms stronger, basically, and just make, start making those throws down the field, which I've recently been getting pretty good at and working on. Yeah, that, 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 you know, you nailed it. Most guys are not mature enough, Josh, to talk about their weaknesses, but everybody has them. I don't care if you're Kirk Cousins or Josh Byers. And the first one is that arm strength. you got to be able to prove to coaches, especially at a Big Ten level, you can put the ball down the field 60 yards. It sounds like you're working on that. But the other is your footwork. How? What are you doing now to address your footwork? You know, you can get away with it at Henry Ford. You can't get away with it when you got a 295 or 325 pound defensive end that runs a 4-7 coming at you. Um, I've basically been working with my quarterback coach, and we've been just trying to go a lot of tempo things and just trying to quicken up my footwork on a daily basis. I usually train with him 
about once or twice a week. And then obviously I do stuff after school with um, some of my receivers just to quicken up my footwork and just try to work around everything so I can get to that next level. Good for you. Josh, last question for me, and then we'll get you out of here. But I, we're talking to Josh Byers, a rising 21 star. He was just at best of the Midwest. Talking to people there of all the quarterbacks, he had the best camp, just killed it. Uh, really addressing his his maybe his weaknesses that have held him back a little bit. He's really addressing it. He's not running from it, and that's why he's getting people's attention because he's showing a work ethic to fix it. Let me ask you this, Josh. For you, camp season's going to be big, but that film is going to be bigger those first five games. How critical is it for Josh Byers, not only for the Henry Ford team, but you personally to have a fast start? Uh, I think it's really huge for us and really huge for me. I mean, personally, I believe if we get off to a fast start and just come out right out of the gate, just guns blazing, we'll have a good season and then I'll have a good season. I mean, we have a great group of people around me that are helping me, supporting me, and just trying to push me to get to that next level. And I'm really happy and really blessed to have those people around me. Totally agree. His name is Josh Byers. He's a rising 21 quarterback, not just in the state of Michigan, but the Midwest. Keep your eye on him. He's getting some Spartan interest now. Grew up a lifelong Spartan. It's a great story. Make sure you keep it tuned to SpartanNation.com. You're going to be reading about Josh coming up here in a few days. Again, went to best of the Midwest, killed it. We'll be back. Best of the Midwest, killed it. We'll be back.